Hey, hey, welcome back again to free software tips. So today I have another tutorial on how you could fix the error code 0x800 F0950 error that is related with the .NET framework on your Windows. So if you're just new on this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So this error is particularly related with the .NET framework on your Windows. So let's go ahead first and go to the start menu and look for services.msc. And then right click the services app and make sure to run it as administrator. And then on this window, you simply hit the W key on your keyboard and then you'll be shown with the services that start with W. Then simply scroll down till you see the um, Windows Update Service right here. Right click the Windows Update Service and click on Properties. Make sure that the startup type is set to automatic or automatic delayed start. Then hit the apply button once done and if the service is currently stopped, make sure to click the start button and OK button. Can you now go ahead and close this window. Next, go to the start menu again and look for control panel. Open the control panel app and then go to the programs and programs and features and then click on the turn windows features on or off. You might need administrative privileges before you could load up this window right here. So once this window is loaded up right here, what you have to just simply do is make sure that this .NET Framework 3.5 is checked right here. Then you can go ahead and click on the OK button. It will now go ahead and proceed with the installation by clicking on this um, Let Windows Update download files for you. And again, we enable the Windows Update just to make sure that Windows Update service is running. Otherwise, you won't be able to download the required files for this installation. Once the installation is complete, you can now go ahead and click on this close button right here and then close this window and go ahead and restart your computer. That would apply all those changes that we have just enabled a while ago and hopefully that would fix your problem. If you still experience that error after doing those steps, you could go ahead and click on the start menu, click on the settings right here and go to the update and security and be sure to have your windows updated. So. Click on the check for updates button right here. In my case, it is already a download button. So it will go ahead and download the um, framework and it will go ahead and proceed and install on your computer. Once the installation is finished, just simply click on the restart now button. And hopefully that would fix your problem. So thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below. And also like this video and uh, subscribe for more helpful tips. Till then, see you again in my next videos.